Alright, time for another video. This will be a little bit different today since, uh, well, I have a bit of food poisoning, so no uh, gameplay today. But since this is something I could still record, still manage to record actually, uh, I'll show you all my settings today. Some people have been asking and I kind of figured since this is what I can do today, I would just include it and, uh, well, for the beginner series as well, add it to the playlist so people can uh, check the settings. Instinct. There are some things I might do different that might help you, and I'll explain some of those settings at the same time as well. So, yeah. Uh, everything everything here currently is on defaults, so we're going to adjust everything, and you can come along or go along with that. Really? So, yeah, here, let's see. First, we click quick cast all, because we want to quick cast all our abilities. Uh, for me, for the trinkets, I like to switch this one and put the trinket on 5, with the 6 and 7 will be my item slot items. I like this because this way, I like I was used to using trinket on 4, like wards and stuff like that, so... Um, yeah, I just put like control wards on slot 4, and then I can use this. But for the 6 and 7, I use my mouse buttons. For the, uh, for the last two slots, which will allow me to easily use items without clicking anything else, but like my thumb a little bit up and down uh, so makes it pretty easy for me to use the active items which i will actually i'll, I'll just go let me show you let me see um what's, what the hell is the teleport function i thought i had it my god oh there teleport the cursor shift s how the hell is that not working all right then I was clicking it, but apparently nothing. All right, cool. So we buy, buy like a Zonias here, uh, active item wise, rocket belt even. You can see like I use my uh, mouse buttons here and I just click this. No hand here, you know. I like this because it makes just things a bit smoother because then you don't have to use your left hand to click an extra button apart from like your skills, right? So you can focus on your skills there and then you can just use your thumb click the items which makes things a little bit easier that's why i do that and uh, then here we turn off the replace quick cast with uh range indica indicators because this means that if you have that on it will turn your quick it, it won't automatically quick cast when you press an ability it's going to show you the range of the ability first and then when you let go that's when it throws it which can be really annoying and i do have something to work around this but this doesn't this basically means it doesn't go off instantly which if you turn this off now, it will just go off instantly if I click the ability, right? So that's what I prefer there. And then to kind of help you with range indicators, this is what I do here with the abilities and summoner spells. You take this and then I press Alt plus the key for the abilities. You can also do this with summoner spells if you want to. You can do this right here. And then when you do this, it basically just gives you ranges. Like this is my smite range. If I click Alt D, this is my flash range. Okay, doesn't work on flash apparently anymore. Used to in the past, but I don't really use it for flash that much. I just do it myself, so I guess that's whatever. But it's also, like, if you then click Alt-Q, it will give you the range. Especially for things like Nidalee Spirit, it can be a little bit tricky. So that's what we use here. This is the trap range. Uh, e, obviously, range here as well. And then when you switch forms, you can... Uh, these, these go off instantly. These don't work. But there are, like, just these range indicators here really, really help with like normal casting it. If you can get used to like using your alt keys for this, this will save you, like this will make it easy. Cause now you can press alt Q to see the range and then I can just click it. If I'm like trying to max range something like that, the red buff, for example. Um, if I just pr click, on, click for Q normally now without the alt, it will go off instantly, which is something I like using quite a lot. So that's really it for this. The rest here, I mean, I don't really use any of it. Um, yeah. No use there. There is something else I want to mention, which I can't really show you in here, I think. Uh, F keys are something I would recommend people to use. I used it in the past, but I learned not to use it anymore because I like kind of motion sickness with videos. Because if you click F keys and you will hop the champions, you can't show this in practice tool. But for a jungler, when you're just clearing your jungle, you can just rotate through your F keys as long as you are the only one watching your video. Or watching your gameplay really um, because if you use f keys like i used to do in the past then 
hopping around like for videos can make people a bit dizzy so that's why i did uh, why i stopped using it but in practice tool i have no ally champion so i can't use this effectively but f1 f2 or three or four you can use it to hop around the map basically and go and like basically yeah, just have the type of like spacebar vision right so let's say i do this press spacebar vision goes to me and then i can use that with the f keys but then for my ally champions instead which instantly allows you to, instead of having to click the minimap or anything of the sort, which instantly allows you to just uh, go hover a champion. This works especially well against champions like Nocturne, because if he puts his darkness up with his ult and you click through your F keys real quick, and you just watch for like the shadow path that he throws out with his Q, because that's visible in ult, uh, you'll be able to find where he is quite quickly. The there are like other champions where that kind of works as well, but... Auction is like the main example that can use this to your advantage. So that's something I would recommend. But I would only recommend it if you are not recording or streaming your gameplay. Because I personally at least find it really annoying to watch something where people just like spam through their F keys the entire time. While it is good, it just makes me a little bit motion sick on it. So that's not what I uh, really want to be doing. Now player movement here. The main thing I change is you have player attack move on A right now. Which is just click move like this. I uh, player attack move click instead of just having to click. I use this and I change that to A. Because this way I don't have to click. I can just click with A. Uh, which makes things pretty easy. Because then if you start a camp you can kind of like try to camp here. As you can see me click this and my, my character turns around whenever it's possible. This makes like not having to click the camp pretty easy. And yeah makes it more consistent to kite something for example. So I can use that to like kite away from myself or kite upwards as you can see it will walk towards it and as soon as something get, hits the attack range which you can see by pressing C and holding it um, as soon as it hits the attack range it will auto attack something it do yeah as you can see right here so attack range and it will just hit and keep moving and you can kind of put in movement commands in between you don't have to like constantly put your mouse back and forth here to click if you change this but that's what I really like to do. Now something comes along with that, because you can uh, then here in the game use attack move on cursor, which is what's default on apparently, because I restored all the defaults here, uh, which means that it will auto attack the target that is closest to where you press this. So let's just put some target dummies here to show you this. Okay, so right here, right? Uh, you have two targets here. If I click A right here gonna auto attack this target if i click a right here it's gonna auto attack this target if i click it like right here it's gonna auto attack whatever is closest to me see right here that's what this does like this puts that uh, the a click that we see right here uh, with the player movement makes it whatever is closest to your mouse will work so if you are trying to chase like somebody down uh, you can then like kind of hold your mouse in the vicinity and then click a and click a movement command and click a and click a movement command which will allow you to, uh, well, never misclick. So let's say I'm like trying to chase him down and I'm trying to click the entire time and I accidentally misclick. I would miss an auto attack opportunity or anything of that. And with the A clicks in between, it won't happen like that. So that's why I really like doing that as a thing. Um, yeah. Now, camera control, as you can, I can see here, the F keys that I would recommend. Select self. I personally don't select self with this. What I do is I select like F1, F2, F3, F4 for my allies. Because obviously select self will just be spacebar, right? Uh, so you can use a spacebar like that. And then F5 isn't something you have to use. But this will allow you to, like with the four F keys, uh, local through your enemies or through your allies. Sorry, which I can't show you because I don't have allies in a practice tool game. But that is something I would recommend you to change here as well. Uh, so, yeah. Let me see. Display. I mean, this can do whatever you want. I really like having the FPS display on. So I can, in the corner here, you can see, like, uh, see my ping and see my FPS. This will be Control F, so you can use that if you want and turn it off and on. As you see. Let me so that will be up to you whether you want that on or not. I like to have it on because if I had it then, like, see it spike or something, I will instantly know, like, okay, I have lag or whatever, and I can uh, take that into account. Yes, I do have low ping. Uh, live close to the servers. <laughs> okay. Communications. I mean, uh, the enemy vision ping is something you can put up. Uh, well, if you want. As you can see. 
you can use this vision like it's just h but yeah quick enemy vision ping is the one just have a wheel for it it's just uh, pressing h this way you can say okay it's warded if you hold it in the middle enemy has vision so that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking at the step here the h is default these days so you can easily use that individual pings you can put this to certain buttons if you want to uh, but there is obviously this wheel that you can use which is now quite more excessive and it gets uh, some you used to but it's pressing g and then clicking and then you can drag to whatever uh, you are going to use or want to use here so yeah the rest here doesn't really matter too much we have i mean this is just all default settings so nothing too fancy there and yeah practice tool doesn't matter you, yeah that's basically it for these settings uh video settings wise i i just have some settings here this this is based on your computer so nothing too fancy sound settings i have on default everything because uh, i use a uh well mixer essentially so i can just adjust volumes there if i have to so yeah you can uh, do with that what you will interface settings my hut right now is extremely big uh, I would recommend the smaller on this you're comfortable with, the better, because obviously you would see more on your screen. Personally, I like to put it at exactly 50. This is just what I prefer. Um, but you can do what if, what, with this what you want, because technically, if you put it all the way small like this, you would have more vision uh, over specific areas, so less like potential to misclick onto your HUD. So zero would technically be most ideal, but I personally like Earth it at 50. But that's why I put it on. Cursor scale is just default 50. Don't touch that. A shop scale, I mean, you can't. I mean, if this is too small for you, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. It's up to you. It's just default here. Chat scale, I like to put at like 50. You can also, like 50 because people can actually see it for videos a little bit better still. But if you have a colossal chat like this, it just takes up too much attention on my screen, especially as a jungler. Because you tend to get flamed quite a lot. So the less, the, the, sl the smaller this is the better because you uh, would notice it less and notice you getting flamed less so i also put that at 50 generally speaking uh, enough like for people to see it in the video without being too massive minimap skill i mean this is up to you right i like you can turn it up or down i personally like it at about 50 as well here um but i mean i wouldn't recommend this it's just whatever you're comfortable with you're gonna make it absolutely colossal like this if you want so you can see the map a little bit better. If you are having trouble with uh, well, looking at your minimap, I would recommend making it massive. But if you are like, I personally put it like about 50, 48. A bit online with my um, with my webcam, as you can see. So it's a bit online there. Once that's the rest of that. Uh, a bit like show champion names. I personally prefer none. Uh, summoner spells, I mean, you can have this above your name. Like I the champion name, you can do that as well. I prefer none because I've always played with no names on, like literally always. It used to, I say used to, that's years ago, but psych me out a little bit when playing against like pros in like uh, higher challenger games, stuff like that. It used to psych me out like years ago and I just turned off all the names because I just wanted to like not have that influence me, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that's why I got used to playing with no names. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's just my preference on this one, really. Uh, legacy cursor you can if you want to let me see here show spell cost is a big one i turn on this will allow me to see how much my um like my abilities cost pretty easily without like hover, have to having to like hover them and stuff makes it easier to like estimate your mana pool needed for plays and i mean yeah this is the big thing the rest we just leave on default uh, we have scoreboard show summon names i also turn this off generally again same thing as earlier i don't like names above my bar but i also don't like names on scoreboard because it used to psych me out and now i'm just kind of used to it but yeah it, like years ago it used to so we're talking like season four ish season five you know that type of region and um, here you can turn your chat and uh, like i would turn on uh show timestamps because then let's say you type like right here in your chat, you type like, uh, if you want to keep track of this enemy flash, you can see 1620 with that timestamp. If you don't have that on, you won't see the timestamp, which makes it harder to like look back through your chat if you want to see whoever has flash or not. So that is a big one. Um, all chat, you can turn on if you want. 
or ally chat you can turn on if you want i turn on both uh, especially for like entertainment for videos but you can turn both of them off if you feel like you are going to type back the people that will flame you and stuff like that so you know up to you and that's really it for this and then the like the last thing here i don't touch any of these settings my my mouse dpi by the way is 1200 for those of you wondering um, but yeah i don't touch any of these settings i just restore default because it just uh, makes it quite easy the last thing here that i want to mention here is to treat like the champions only target champions only as a toggle the default button for this is whatever that thing's called beneath your escape button next to your in like number one key um that will you can look at the cursor right here right it will turn my cursor red if i have the cursor red like this it won't let me click anything but enemy champions as you can see i'm clicking the red buff i'm clicking through it right now if i click this on renekton i will attack the renekton you see moving towards renekton if i don't click the renekton you see it's clicking through minions it will click through like turrets and stuff you can see movement commands here and it, otherwise you see a sword this is very very good for turret dives if you're like looking to turret dive with like whatever champ really the main main thing you use it for as a jungler turret dives um i would treat this as a toggle because that means that you can get used to clicking this and with this mouse you can just see it turn red so anytime you go for like a turret dive here you will be able to toggle this and then you can't click the turret as you can see and if you turn the toggle off then you can hit the turret but this is a very big thing for turret dives if you are not using that then uh, i would highly highly recommend using it it makes it like you can't miss click on the turret you can't miss any damage which will fill a turret dive and you can just click the enemy champion even if they're kiting behind their turret which makes things a little bit easier yeah i would recommend treating that as a toggle as well otherwise you're gonna have to use your well pinky probably to uh hold the button down the entire time while you're going for a turret dive which makes it more difficult to actually like use your abilities instead of just clicking it like once with a toggle here and then leaving that on um to well then use all your abilities for the turret dive really so you know i don't know really why this doesn't work but yeah I'll, I'll just push out this rave real quick and i'll show you what i mean a little bit better you can see right here with this on i can't even click the minions either they wouldn't let me click it obviously you can still hit it with your abilities but i can't specifically target any of this which would then also count here because we're just going to put like a nice enemy target dummy behind the turret like if you don't have this on as you can see i literally like it's very difficult for me to actually click the enemy uh, very difficult for me to click the click the enemy uh, but if i do this i can just easily target the enemy instead i can click the turret here as you can see and i will just hit this enemy instead it makes things easier yeah that's really all the settings that i use uh, i would recommend there might be some things that will help you on this one if you guys have enjoyed this video this is all i could really do for today so uh, maybe it's interesting maybe it's not uh, i'd hope to be back tomorrow with another gameplay video for the beginner series but we're gonna have to see how my uh, food poisoning is doing at that point so i wish you guys a good day and i'll see you guys with another video soon enough goodbye